Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. If you are new here, I do quick, easy makeup tutorials that use a minimal amount of product, and they're usually based off of one of my muses from pop culture. In this video, I'm going to be doing this inspired makeup look that is based on Tura Satana. You may know Tura Satana from movies like Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, which is so cool, so beautiful, so badass. There's a chapter in Pamela DeBar's book, Let's Spend the Night Together with Tura. She talks about her love affair with Elvis Presley, and she talks about having to teach him how to kiss and to kiss other places. It's really fascinating, and this is also a really good book, and I love Pamela DeBar. If you want to check that out, I'll link a, I'll link a link in the description below. Teresa Tana. <laughs> if you've never seen Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, I highly recommend. If you want to see it for free, you can see it on right here on YouTube. If you would like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I will link some articles on Teresa Tana and I list all the products that I use in the description box. Let's get started. I always go in with SPF first. Prisma FX. Vanessa Myricks in gold. I'm just putting a little bit on my fingertips because I'm just going to apply it to the highlights of my face before my foundation. Because the foundation that I'm using is very, well, I'm going to make it very sheer. So this will pop through. Chanel Vita Lumiere in Claire 20. I'm going to mix a little dab of that with the Vanessa Myricks beauty oil. A very little amount. This will sheer out the foundation, just give you a veil of coverage and a beautiful dewy look. The less coverage you start out with, the less texture that will build up on your skin. So it won't look like you're wearing foundation. I don't really do my forehead because I wear bangs, so not necessary. Mixing the Juvia's Place in Manila with the Shape Tape in 12N. And just with my ring fingers, I'm just going to brighten under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, around the nostrils. This just helps to brighten a little bit. It has a little bit more coverage, so it gives the illusion that you have a more perfected look without building coverage all over the face. With a tiny brush, I'm going to take that same mixture and just apply it to where it's darkest. So by keeping that heavier coverage concentrated, again, you're not building up too much texture all over the face. This is also really good for acne if you just have little spots. Just go in with a small brush and apply it so that you want more coverage. Around the nostrils, down these lines right here, you can just add a little bit more just to brighten. I'm just going to define my brows a little bit. The Fenty Butter Biscuit and small fluffy brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of contour. I don't want too much, I just want to shape the face a little. Same brush, I'm just applying a light pink to the apples. It can be any light pink that you like or any light natural blush. Using the highlighter from Juvia's Place, the fan brush. Charlotte Tilbury in Fair. I'm going to powder very gently a little bit under the eyes. That'll help to prevent the concealer from creasing. And I want to keep the skin glowy, but in certain areas, like you don't need the skin glowy, like here, 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 and like right there. Everywhere else you can keep glow. With the fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with, I think this palette is discontinued. Let me use a palette that's not. I don't know any palettes that aren't. So I'm just going to go in with this one. And this lighter color over here, just add a little bit of crease. You don't want too much of it because you want the look to be mainly about the liner. So this is just adding a little bit of contour, kind of like what we do with the cheeks. With the same brush, I'm going in with this darker brown. I'm starting on the lid, just a little bit on my brush, 
And I'm gonna keep it more concentrated to the lid area. What I do is I build up a little bit at a time, that way you're, don't, you're not scrambling to blend it in the end if you get any places that are harder to blend. I'm creating this footprint for the liner to follow. By building up the color too, you get less fallout. I'm creating like a shadowy line right here. A smaller fluffy brush, that same dark brown. I'm just going to dab it right here just to marry what you did on the lid and into the crease to that bottom lash line. This liner is gonna be pretty thick and intense. So I'm gonna start at this outer corner bring it to almost meeting my brow. I'm gonna do it on the other side so I, before I put everything on, I can tell if I'm gonna to need to redo it. It's close enough. Don't drive yourself crazy. Nobody will know if it's a little bit off. And then starting from that outer corner, Start bringing it onto the lid. Then you can start filling in from the lash line. Starting from the inner corner, you want it to be a little bit thinner going from a thin line to the thicker line. Now I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown again. And I'm just gonna run it right along the liner. This just softens it ever so slightly. Curl the lash. I'm gonna apply the base first, just on the top lashes. I love wearing a base before putting mascara on because I also find the mascara tends to not transfer as much too. It's also easier to take off. Mascara in black, loads of it. KKW Beauty, Nude 2. Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is the color Amber. Tanessa Myrick's Duet. Just putting that on my ring finger and pressing that into the highlight. This will give a beautiful dewy wet look. All right, so that is my makeup look inspired by the amazing Tura Satana. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through to the end. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and if you were going to try this liner out yourself. I'd love to hear about it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. I will see you in my next video. Bye.